Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Now before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. Alright guys, let's begin. And now that you know the main testable differences between PVD and PAD, so what about the six P's? You guys remember those six P's the instructor always talks about? Well guys, the six P's just assess the oxygenation of the limb. Usually always the lower limb since it's harder for oxygen to get from the heart all the way down to the legs, right? Especially with the narrowing of the blood vessels from atherosclerosis, that plaqueville dip, like seen here. The lower the oxygen in the extremity, the worse the six P's get. It's like your limb is being strangled to death because this is exactly what happens when the body has no oxygen. It dies, also called necrosis. So write this down. The two most important P's that will be on your test and usually always comes up in prioritization questions. Number one is pain, but guys, not any kind of pain. Unrelieved pain at rest. Big key word right there. When claudication is unrelieved at rest, this means PAD has moved into the most severe stages. And number two is paresthesia, fancy words for tingling and numbness. It's like when your leg falls asleep, but guys, this is way more severe version. It's like the leg is holding its breath for a long, long time or just being choked out. All right, guys, a little side note for your future exams. These two Ps are always the priority and will always show up on cast care and even PAD. Guys, in both cases, we have an oxygenation problem leading to a loss of limb problem. So guys, we always think of the worst case scenarios here, which always revolve around oxygen problems. Really, any oxygen problem is an emergency problem and is always a priority. Guys, that's why the ABCs are always to prevent the loss of life. Airway, breathing, circulation. They always should be assessed first then loss of limb, then it goes into like risk factors and other stuff. Now the other four Ps, we sort of expect to be there, so we don't really focus on in terms of priority for tests. So we already know pulses are gonna be diminished or weak, especially in PAD. And pallor is just the paleness from that low blood flow. We use the word polar, which the leg gets cold like a polar bear, since the leg lacks that warm blood flow. And lastly, paralysis, the inability to move the limb, like a paralyzed patient. Just think the limb is passed out from that lack of oxygen. All right, guys, as far as treatments and nursing interventions, I'm sorry for jumping ahead right now, but guys, the biggest NCLEX and test tip I can give you in this lecture is right here. So guys, grab a pen, write this stuff down. Always what makes the pain better? So guys, veins, we elevate the veins. So PVD and even DVT, you're gonna elevate. And arteries, you always hang. So PAD, put the arteries down. Now I can almost guarantee you this next part is gonna be on your exam. So PVD, guys, we elevate the legs. V is for elevate. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.